What's up YouTube, Jim from Flippin' Jim TV here. Uh, today I want to talk about um, using XSplit and Skype and using it with a green screen background like I have here. Um, you'll see at the moment I'm floating around, just pretty much on my desktop background over there. Um, so how do we set this up? Let's have a look. So if I activate the scene sources, uh, these just this is the scene for this, there's my camera, that's the background, and this is the settings. So if I click on my um, my camera, like that, and uh, this is the color tab. Can't really see it, but um, take my word for it. That's the color tab. Um, down here, you've got chroma key. You want that set. Normally, by default, it's on none. And you can see behind me, it's just a green bit of uh, material hung over a frame. Um, click on the chroma key. <clears throat> It'll automatically pick up greens at default, but if it was red or blue, look at that, that's weird. Um, blue, there you go. So Cookie Monster there is pretty much gone see-through because he's very blue. But if we go green, um, you've got, uh, that'll automatically pick it up. You've got some settings over here um, and you've got, so alpha smoothing, I've cranked that all the way up. By default it's down here. And depending on the lighting you have on the screen itself, um, it's how well that will, will pick it up. For me, it's, I don't have the best lighting in here, so I've cranked that right up and it seems to produce the best effect. Like that. And uh, this one is a tolerance. So for me, like if I crank it up, it sort of scales back. And if I go too low, it starts catching my jumper, my face, and any sort of weird lighting effect. So for, m for my settings, it works best between 40 and 50. So if I leave it about there, it's great. Okay, so now that we've got our scene set up, and you can adjust, um, let me get rid of that. And you can adjust, you know, you move your head anywhere you want. Um, and of course, over here, if you wanted to add a, um, a media file, you could just go, instead of a screen selection, which I've just got my, my desktop screen, you could add a media file and add, you know, a JPEG or whatever you wanted. So um, once we've got this all set, how do we put this into Skype so we can, you know, do our, uh, our video calls? So let's bring up Skype and we'll have a look. Okay, so here I am in my Skype settings. So you just go to um, options in Skype and it'll bring this up. And what you want to do is go down to video settings. And now this isn't going to work for me because I'm using XSplit to record this, but um, you get the idea. Normally you have uh, under the video settings, select the webcam and it'll be your webcam, whatever it might be. It might be Logitech, Microsoft, whatever. Um, that'll be listed here. Um, once you've got XSplit running, it will show XSplit Broadcaster or Game, um, the other one, Gamecaster, um, and that'll be under this this list as well. So if I click that, anything that I have set up in my scene mode in XSplit will become my video, and that includes you know any any portion of the actual screen at all. So um, yeah, now in this instance, it would actually be the Skype window as well. So you get your webcam, you get your background, and the green screen effect. So the whole lot is your broadcasted video through Skype. So that's how you set it up. Um, you just need to remember that, yeah, you gotta get your green screen settings right and a, a suggestion would be to, to get some decent lighting on it. Um, the smoother the lighting, the, the better it is. Uh, like I said, mine's a bit, um, my lighting isn't great. So you can see it's all a bit fuzzy and whatnot. But the general effect still works pretty well. Um, there you go. I hope that helped. Uh, if it did, please uh, give me a thumbs up or uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.